We find our science activities and experiments fun to use. We always take proper safety precautions when performing science experiments and activities. Solution A shall not be held responsible for any damages as a result of any activities contained within this channel. It is recommended that all science experiments and activities be used only under adult supervision. Adults should handle or assist with the chemicals. In the global health emergency caused by COVID-19, multiple experts have mandated the use of hand sanitizer as a safety measure from COVID-19. WHO has recommended a formula to prepare hand sanitizer locally. WHO recommends the local production of the following formulations as an alternative when suitable commercial products are either unavailable. The formulation is isopropyl alcohol 75% glycerol 1.45%, hydrogen peroxide 0.125%. We have tried to make a hand sanitizer locally by using WHO formula. Keep watching video to make a hand sanitizer. The things you need to make a hand sanitizer are funnel, measuring cup, distilled water, isopropyl alcohol, glycerine, beaker, 250 ml container to store hand sanitizer, 500 ml bottle and 3% hydrogen peroxide but we got 35% hydrogen peroxide so we need to dilute it let's start the experiment to dilute hydrogen peroxide we used dilution formula c1v1 equals c2v2 35% v1 equals 3% into 500 ml v1 equals 3 by 35 into 500 ml v1 equals 42.85 ml first take 42.85 ml of 35% hydrogen peroxide and pour it into bottle next measure 500 ml distilled water 500 ml means 2 cup of 250 ml volume then pour water into the bottle close the lid and stir it 3% hydrogen peroxide is ready. Label the bottle. Take a glass jar for mixing. Measure 155.46 ml of isopropyl alcohol also called as rubbing alcohol 99% and pour it into the jar. Now take 1 tablespoon of 3% hydrogen peroxide and add it into the jar. Next take 1 teaspoon of glycerin sometimes called as glycerol and add it into the jar. After that pour distilled water mix all the ingredients to homogenize them. After mixing take clean plastic container that can hold 250 ml and pour the solution into the container through the funnel so it doesn't get spilled. Close the container tightly and label it. As a fun part, we poured some hand sanitizer into a plate and put fire on it. The color of the flame was blue due to isopropyl alcohol. If you want to see more informative videos like this, please subscribe to our channel.